Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So okay, we are going to have tutorial 101 about iMovie using your phone and your MacBook. Hold on, I am receiving messages right now through my Instagram from companies that are asking me if I can collab with them. This is about jewelry and fashion clothing. And I checked their websites and it looks legit to me. But the thing that makes me back off is that when one of them asked me to buy jewelry for 70% off and then the other one is sending me free clothes but I have to pay for shipping, it scares me because they said that I have to post a picture in my social media account or Instagram account and, and I'm gonna allow them to use that picture to their website or their social media account and it kind of scary so I don't know I'm, I just replied earlier that I am not interested because I'm not ready for that right now and uh, I don't know it scares me so what do you think about that guy so for me I am not ready for that yet because I am so busy with my kids with my babies so I kind of tell them that no I can and I am just scared of scams so that's the thing anyway I'm just gonna drop my phone right now turn it off so we can move on to our topic all right let's get the things that we need we have a laptop and an SD card connector actually you don't need it if you're using your phone and then I have my phone over here. I only use my phone if my DSLR is not working but now it is working fine cross finger it's not gonna go crazy with me right now while filming so as you know guys I already mentioned this in my previous video the video that how I edit and film my video that I only use one app which is iMovie free you don't have to pay for anything you can download it for free use it for free and it's really good for beginner like me it is so easy to use okay let's go ahead to the basic editing first let's use our phone video clips or photos to the timeline of your project you can actually make your clip longer or shorter or change the sequence of your clip or split your clips into two separate clips using this you can remove some unwanted parts of your videos make your clip shorter or longer you can trim your video clips or photos so it appears for a shorter or longer period of time in your project how to do that top the video clip or photos in your timeline then you will see that yellow highlights around the selected clip then drag the beginning or end of the clip to make it shorter or longer to make longer clip drag that edge of the clip away from the center Then you can also change the sequence of your clip. To do this, just touch and hold the video clips until it rises off the timeline, then drag and release where you would like the clip to appear in your project. Then this is how you split your clips into two separate clips. Using this, you can adjust the duration of your video or just remove the unwanted section of your clip. To do this, scroll in the timeline to position the white line where you want to split the video. Then, tap the split. Adding background music. Tap the add icon, then the audio, then it will give you option if it's soundtrack, music, or sound effects. You can also add pop-up photos or words in your video. To do this, tap again the add icon, then go to your photo, then select the photo that you want to add, and let's go ahead and add this one. Click that three dots, then you can see the choices there. Let's use picture in picture. Now you can see the added picture on top of your video clip. Then click that one and drag to position where where you want it to be and then go ahead and save it then let's go ahead and how to edit video using iMovie in your MacBook first add your videos or your photos in your timeline it's kind of the same using your phone but it is more easier and it will give you more option using your MacBook
make your clip shorter or longer. With your video open, click the clip you wanted to edit, then you will see the yellow highlight. Drag the edge of the clip away from the center to make it longer, then to make it shorter, drag the edge towards the center. You can also change the sequence of your clip. You can do this by clicking the video clip, then drag the clip to the left or right, depending on where you want the clip to appear in your movie. And then you can split your videos into two separate clips. Scroll in the timeline to position the white line where you want to split the clip. Then right click and select the split. Then let's go ahead to the basic editing tools of this app. You have audio, you have filter, you can crop your movie or you can do the in and out effect and you also have the color correction option. And in this side, you have media, you have audio, background and transition. And that's all I do to edit my videos. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and click that bell notification to get notified for my new video and click that like button below if you end up liking this video. If you are new to this channel guys, I am uploading videos twice a week. That's Monday and Friday, which I am trying to be consistent. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me again today. And you guys enjoy your weekend, okay? Stay safe and I will see you on Monday. God bless you all. Bye.